Today we're going to go over how to create a new auction. Uh, when you log in, you'll find yourself at the dashboard. This is your home page. Um, upcoming auctions will show up in this tab, active auctions in this tab, completed auctions in this tab, and then after 90 days, they'll be in the auction vault. If you're not ready to create a new auction, you can also create a new inventory, which will show up in this tab by going to the icon up in the right-hand corner, new inventory. It'll look pretty much the same as um, the creating a new auction process. And then when you're ready to move items from that inventory to an auction, we can do that as well. But today we're just gonna go over creating a new auction. So to do that, click on the gavel icon in the upper right. And here you can name your auction. And enter an address. This might be the pickup location or the actual location of the auction. Or just the company address. And you can estimate your lots up here. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, it's just a cataloging tool for you. Select a coordinator. And if you want, you can restrict um, editing this auction to coordinator and admins. You can also lock the auction, which will prevent changes uh, by anyone except for an administrator. And here you can choose the visibility. Public secret key protected, you can choose a key and whoever has that key will be, will be able to see the auction or public. You can choose a photo with an image that represents your auction. And down here you'll see six tabs, auction attributes, auction info, marketing, accounting, invoices, and online checkout. This is where you'll edit the settings specific to your auction. So under the action, auction attributes tab, you can choose your software. So if you're using a proxy bid bidding platform, you would select one of these. Um, similarly, BidSpotter, KBid. If you don't see your auction software here, or if this is a live auction, select Universal. Then you can select your start date, time, and similarly your end date if that applies. Now over here you can select which options you would like to appear when cataloging your lots. So if you want to rank your lots, you would check this. Um, that's useful for marketing purposes because the highest ranks ranked lots appear first. Otherwise, it just pulls in lot order. Um, you can put a default starting bid, shipping calculator. Um, if you sell per piece, you'd want to check that. If there are going to be multiple sellers, you would want to check that. Um, and similarly, this is how you select what options apply to your auction. In the auction info tab, um, if you like, you can put in the terms and conditions, auctioneer notes, that sort of thing. In the marketing tab, you can put your registration and bidding URLs. We have another help page for that. And in accounting, you can set your premiums and invoice fees. On invoices, you can put in your um, headers and footers and what template you'd like to use. There's a separate place for putting in email templates. And then if you're using online checkout, you can set questions that your buyers will be able to answer when they receive their invoices. When you're all finished, click save. Your auction will now appear on the dashboard. And you can go in there and start cataloging.